Emmy Rossum has starred in many memorable, memorable roles from films like Phantom of the Opera oh. to the TV series Shameless. But for her latest character, Emmy made a total transformation. She became Angeline, the mysterious billboard bombshell who captured everyone's curiosity in the 80s. Check it out. Tell me more. Who is the real Angeline? That's the story I want. Don't you love the not knowing? The desperate energy <gasps> as it builds up inside of you as you wonder, as it drives you mad. She won't give it to I can't Emmy. believe that's you. Emmy, that was a total transformation. And is it true that you actually pitched the series dressed? Give a, tell us exactly what happened. So the execs are waiting to hear this pitch. Right. Okay. Um, so we're pitching to the Peacock yeah. Network. Uh -huh. And... Um, you know, I, I'd been studying this character, and, and she's a real-life person, uh -huh. and just kind of studying the movement and the voice uh -huh. and the presentation for, for years at this point. And we were finally going to do this pitch to get the green light, and I called in sick. I was a producer on the show, but I didn't show up to the pitch. And then at the last minute in the pitch, I walked in fully in character after hours of prosthetics and hair and makeup because Angeline is an experience. You have She is able to take a completely mundane moment and elevate it to something completely magical. She is all about the tease. She's sexy without ever giving it away. Yeah. She's in control in every moment and that's kind of that a little well, bit of magic. That's what reaction. I wanted. You yeah, walked I in. Say. Yes. Well, it was, like a, <laughs> it was like 20 minutes of improv pretty much, which I didn't. It's, yeah. it's so long as yes. you're doing it. And I had little cri I had met with Angeline, too. She had given me a crystal, so I brought them all crystals to kind of bless the project and was kind of teasing them with peacock feathers because of the peacock sure. nether, <laughs> network. So it was, it was incredibly fun, and, and she's kind of this very transformational woman. She can transform any moment wow. and make it feel and magic. Wow. You did. I mean, you physically transformed for this role yeah. every single day in hair and makeup for seven hours. Is that right? I play what, her... do you do, what do you do for seven hours? Yeah, that's while a you're... good question. You, yeah, I mean, I play her over the course of 50 years, and these incredible artists did this incredible work on me with such tenderness and, and kindness and, and patience, and yeah, I mean, did you... listen to podcasts? Did you, you yeah. listen to morning podcasts? Yeah. And yeah. they would bless me with a pink magical wand. Oh, God. What was it about her that so captivated you? Why did you want this project so badly? Well, she's a mystery. Yeah. She has so much mystique, and I kind of saw her billboards for the first time when I was 13. Uh -huh. I was so yeah. struck by the power of her image. She's uh -huh. a trailblazer. She knew the power of her image. She crafted this identity for herself. She's living, breathing performance oh art. My God. This is when she had a 10-story wall at the peak of her fame. Wow. She had hundreds of billboards all over the city. Wow. But her identity really remained a mystery with uh -huh. all these kind of fantastical stories about her. And mm -hmm. um, even though she tells these mythical stories about herself, there's real emotional yeah. honesty in them about her life and kind of her rise as a phoenix from the ashes. Mm -hmm. And I was incredibly moved by her tenacity and strength yeah, and so loved her. Well, you have so many great parts of your life. By the way, congratulations. Yes. You have a little baby who's turning one tomorrow. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, about, oh my oh. god, I yeah. can't. The oh, little jean the jacket part. and the whole thing. Yeah. How did becoming a mom I mean, <laughs> it changes your, everything. Your right mm. in this moment. I yeah. mean, it, it just, it's, we had our party yesterday and there were like children all over our apartment and it was really, it was incredible because it was the first time I felt like my whole self was there. Mm. It really just does, <sighs> feels like that. Just so sweet. Yeah, and I, I shot this before I was pregnant and after, like straddling the pandemic. I went right back to work two months after. Oh but I tell you, being in this kind of hair and makeup was, on some moments, you know, I had so much latex and PVC piping up my nose. And there were moments where I was like, this is physically and emotionally yeah. harder than my 26-hour unmedicated labor. <laughs> truly, truly. Wait, I would just lay down true? on the floor and be like, oh, God, labor was honestly easier than yeah, this. My whole body hurts. <laughs> you, is it true that you got blisters from the boobs? Yeah, there's, they're, they kind of glue everything on you, and, and as you're kind of in it and kind of moving in it for hours and hours and hours, it does it kind of, yeah chafes in your skin wow. and I had 
I can't stop thinking about. I mean, about you were at such a profound moment with your baby, and then I, I took it to blisters. I on know, I know. But it's always, but you the know, show. Your boobs are always going yeah. through it. As yeah, they sure. So, yeah. I was going to say that no, probably not your first or last blister. Yes. No. Exactly. <laughs> Congratulations this on this. It's so, so good so to much. see you. We're so happy for your everything that's going on in your life. Appreciate it. Oh. And you can catch Angeline now on NBC's streaming network, Peacock. It's going to be a big hit. That was beautiful what you said about your little one. 